Hey everybody, Obey the Papaya back at you again with another YouTube video. Disclaimer, this is a data mine video. This is all for fun. We gather this information from r slash predecessor data mining. I don't do any of this. I just take a look at it and share it with the community. This stuff can be true. It could be fake. It could be baited by the devs. Who knows? But let's get straight into the video. All right. So here we got uh, Mr. Lay Owl Who. I'm assuming Mr. Lay Owl Who, who uh, is the moderator, lead person on Predecessor Data Mining, coming again with another unreleased hero kit uh, boost. Um, so thank you, Lay Owl Who, for doing this. And uh, let's discuss it. So boost is a tech slash hacker themed range hero from previous data mines. All right. It's a primary basic attack. Uh, 1 through 18 damage values. That's fine. This stuff is actually, looking at his overall, we see it below more. This is strictly the basic attack. Let's take a look at, so no cleave. His scaling is relatively low. We're seeing a lot of carries they have their basic attack at. I think TB's is at 7.75, and uh, Kira got a buff to hers. I think it's 0 0.9. Murdoch is 0 0.95. And I think uh, Revenant's 1.25 to give uh, perspective. Um, do I have any? I don't have a percentage here for Drongo. So gameplay cues, primary fire, hit character, hit world, no hit spawn, nothing crazy, muzzle flash. So it's going to be some sort of gun. Um, I think every character except for Sparrow has a gun. Uh, kind of interesting. Um, passive unnamed ability. Passive damage 35 to 137. Now this passive is every single level. Explosion radius 350 to 350. So hero multiplier. Oh, so a hero multiplier. This is probably going to be similar to Howitzer. Um, probably why we're seeing a decrease in the overall physical damage. It's more spread out. Um, Ability.boost.passive hovering. Uh, boost passive charging. Explosion on hero. Explosion not on hero. And a hover. So some sort of interesting hover mechanic. Uh, additional FX file names. Charging and explosion. So based on the passive. Okay. Interesting. Um, unknown keybind of the next skill, Nano. Level 1 to 5, so it's not an ultimate ability. Nano damage, 20 to 60. It's PP scaling, and I know what PP means now. Um, physical power scaling. 0.2, so about 20%. Explosion damage, 60 to 180 by, by uh, the 5, uh, so 20 per. Um, explosion PP scaling. Uh, looks like it's going to be just straight, straight scaling. Uh, explosion, magic power scaling, also straight raw scaling of uh, 100%. Nano duration will last you 0.75 seconds, most likely. A root, uh, one second. A cost of 50 to 70. That's pretty cheap mana cost. Nano cooldown 17 to 15 on a root. This is going to be a little interesting right here. Um, it seems like the explosion on this passive really is going to scale with these abilities. Gameplay cues, priority, nano priority, nano dot appear. Dot damage, explode, has a bounce, impact, spawn, targeting. This is kind of a really interesting uh, gameplay cues here. It has a lot. It's like there's just so much to it. It's kind of like Twin Blast RMB, I feel like, but also dot, just a little bit more. Additional FX file names, Nano Burst and Nano Shockwave. I wonder if this is active based on a passive or something. Next skill, Swap, Unknown Keybind, level 1 to 5, so we know that it's not an ultimate ability. Uh, swap, Default Damage, 8 to 24, Scaling being 10%, Trace Damage, period, and Trace Damage. Trace, I'm not sure what Trace means. Maybe it's similar to like uh, Fey, Fey uh, Primary Ability, where she puts that thorny bush. Maybe something like that. It's PP Scaling, 10%, small PP Scaling. Um, magic Power Scaling... Uh, 12 percent so there's more magic power scaling to him not that much the overall so so far i'm not really seeing a big magic to him but maybe there's some added benefits trace damage ramp trace damage uh, as a misspell ramp timer so every half a second the trace damage will ramp increase by one percent duration is eight seconds trace pen penetration is he gonna have pen scaling pen 0.8 to point it drops though so i don't think that's it unless it's trace pen and it slowly drops relative to the timer or how it scales up and then a swap cost and a swap cooldown it seems like it's an added ability then it's like a uh a stance change maybe this is interesting 
gameplay cues, swap, trigger, a swap ready, switching, boost swap. Remember, boost is the name of the character. Swap weapon. So it's something like that. Active event, cancel event, cost event, damage multiplier, max stacks, out of mana event, slow stacks. So it, it probably uses up mana and it's some sort of active ability. Maybe a switch weapon. Boost trace glow. Okay. That's an additional FX. So it's going to be a different weapon on top of it. Dot trace. Yeah, that's a skill. So uh, interesting. Thrust, level 1 to 5, so not an ultimate ability. Thrust damage, 15 to 35. PP scaling, 15%. Magic power scaling, 20%. Not very big on the PP, on, on any scaling. Um, hover duration, 4 seconds, so more hover. Um, thrust duration, 1.25 with the cost cooldown. So it's not like a thrust. It's like probably like an engine thrust instead of like a thrust like you're jumping, I guess. Thrust active, hover, fight. It's some sort of hover. It has a hover act. This is probably going to be one of their first, like, really big effect on the elevation type of design. This will be interesting. Um, thrust hover flight, input active, thrust, uh, hit character, hit world, no hit spawn ready. There's a loop timer, a hit, a mobility, travel mode, a jets loop. So something like that. Targeting heavy. Boost thrust targeting heavy. Don't know what that means. Huh. All right, we got the ultimate ability now. Levels 1 to 3. Ultimate damage, 175 to 425. Okay. Uh, ultimate PP scaling, 150%. The magic power scaling, 120%. Missing health damage on the ultimate, 20% to 30%. That's going to be crazy. It's going to be a finisher maybe. Um, ultimate cost, 100 mana, cooldown, 120 to 80, go, but uh, pretty long on the cooldown, I'd say, with haste. Oh, you could get to 50 seconds. Um, gameplay queue, ultimate active, acquired target, acquiring target, active, projection, uh, project explosion, a spawn, something comes out of it. Uh, acquiring target, same thing. Oh, it's a gameplay effect now. So this is the queue and this is the effect. Uh, trace mode. So yeah, some trace mode, some sort of active. Charging, hit character, hit world, no hit. Interesting. Normal mode. Uh, boost ultimate target. Boost eye targeting. Boost ultimate explosion. V2. What? Boost ultimate impact. Boost ultimate charging. This is on the trace mode. Absorb mesh. Ultimate energy bubble. Wispy plasma GPU. What the? This is wild. This is there's a lot going on in his ultimate. I'm. I think this is gonna be the first character I'm actually gonna be super excited for. Base stats, uh, overall, um, a little bit more HP than Drongo. Drongo HP max is 2300, but he has a lot less. He has like 20 armor less than Drongo, so that's that's big. That's a big deal. Uh, ability armor is per pretty much the same as most carries. So uh, this guy is gonna be have to watch out for Bang Mao and Kalari. Uh, damage numbers. Uh, I don't have any number on that, I think. Yeah, don't have any number on that. Basic scaling, I discussed that previously. Uh, 80% is closer to TB than, than other carries in terms of basic damage. Remaining abilities. He has a jump. Oh, these abilities removed from the kit. They were not assigned stats, apparent relation to other abilities. Pierce, so marked hit, hit world, no hit, similar to Pierce. Active location, spawn, vac. I don't know what vac and pierce is, but those are the abilities that seem to be there, but may not exist anymore. All right, so boost. This guy looks, this guy sounds super cool. So I'm actually really excited to see this guy come out. Um, but you guys know how it is. I'm going to post this down in the description. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, because this is actually an, a character I may be super excited for. Maybe it's going to be, you know, howitzer on crack, 80 howitzer. We'll see. Um, if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to uh, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And let me know in the comments of anything. If I suck this video, if I did really good this video, or just want to talk and call me trash. But I'll catch y'all. Take it easy. Have a good one. Good luck in your games. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.